Hi everyone, welcome back to Gavin with Gab this week. Um, today we're going to be talking about America and how I actually think the way that we live in America is a scam. And so let's go on, get on with it. So personally, I think the way we live in America is absolutely a joke because you spend all of your life working and working and working and most of the time you hate it and then you finally get to spend your money when you retire but it's only if you make it to retirement and the thing is now um most of the time you have to go to college in order to get a decent job to make a decent amount of money but you need a decent amount of money to pay for college and that degree so it's absolutely insane because you can't make money without having money. And we live in a country that's like, you live to work instead of working to live like other countries in Europe do. It's just a completely different way of what their value system is. And it's absolutely absurd. Another issue I have with just college as a whole that's a whole nother scam we're getting into now um so you have to decide what you want to do for pretty much the rest of your life at the age of like 18 19 17 i barely even know what i want for dinner let alone what i want to do for the rest of my life so it's a very difficult decision to make and you're forced to make this decision and it's an expensive decision whether you want to go to college whether you don't if you want to just go straight into the workforce it's so difficult for even older people to make these decisions and then they spring it on you when you're younger and i have to decide what i want for it my future career changes every single day every single day i'm like hmm let's go into business hmm maybe a lawyer Maybe this, maybe that. Like, it changes every single day what I want to do. My best friend, she changes her major at least once a a week. (laughs) And I'm like, okay, so what is it now? What what, what is this is now? What are you studying? But it's just insane. And especially American schools were taught to not really think for ourselves, but to almost become robotic especially in like public high schools like you're taught to follow the special schedule you're taught you when to ask to go to the bathroom when to eat at certain times you don't have the freedom to really do much and then you go into college and it's like culture shock and it's like you have more time to you have breaks where you could decide what you want to go meanwhile in high school you're not allowed to go anywhere without asking anyone and in college you're taught like it's okay to think this way you can like you're taught to learn instead of what to think and that's a very big difference that i've seen so far in my first year of college and but my main another problem i have is the way they are taking all of my money from me because i remember i had to get a transcript and it was an online transcript to transfer because I took credits in high school and it was $15 alone for to transfer one credit to the over and it was online it was $15 I was like you're emailing this this shouldn't cost $15 to email because I do that like four times like I was like this is absolutely absurd I'm paying you to email someone like same with my bank it's a joke every time i get overdraft fees and they're like eight dollars each i'm like the money is in my savings account that's attached to it like it's not like i don't have this money like meanwhile you're charging me eight dollars you're the reason i have no money like it's insane i'm like because then it says negative balances in my account and i'm like i have the money but you just took it (laughs) to do nothing you didn't even do anything it's an automatic thing like a person's not actually doing this like you don't have to pay anyone for this it's insane so then at my school in the library the library is so far from the campus center where we have all of our food 
So like when it's cold out, I don't want to fucking walk all the way to the campus center to get food. So I go up to the little, like, I'm not even going to say cafe because it's not. It's like when you go to like the cold section of the 7-Eleven where they have all the fresh food, food already made. Yeah, it's kind of like that. So I go up there to get something and it's like $8 for half of a wrap. And the wrap's not even good. Like, I spent $16 the other day there. I got a wrap, which was just, like, vegetables. Like, carrots, cucumbers, and, like, peppers. None of them were even, like, grilled or anything. Like, there was no hummus on it. It was just a wrap. And then I also got a bag of chips and a Monster Energy. The Monster Energy was, like, four fifty dollars alone. Like, it was insane. And I was like, this is a joke. But they know that I don't want to walk all the way to the cold just to get good, cheap food. Like, at that point, my car is the same distance from the campus center. I might as well just leave and go get food if I'm going to walk all the way. But I don't want to fucking walk all the way over there because it's cold out. Like, it's like 30 degrees. I'm like, I want to stay in this building. Like, it's too far away. So then they take advantage of the fact that they know people aren't going to want to do that. And then another issue I have is the stupid books. Because, like, I had to get four books this semester. And so many of them were online. Like, my statistics book, it was an online rental. So I have it only for the semester, and it was $50. I was like, I don't even get to keep this. Like, insane. One of my, my microeconomics textbook, I had to pay, like, $125 just so I could do the homework that's, like, online. It's crazy. Like, I'm like, I'm already paying so much in tuition. Like, and then you're not gonna, like, I have to pay even more for textbooks. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Another thing is a scam. I have this whole conspiracy about this. Is that the, I feel like the car companies and the police officers are working together. Because my car can go up to 160 miles an hour. What roads do you, especially in America, do, are you able to go 160 miles an hour? Like, the, like or especially around near me, like the most you could go, like the speed limit, the most it is, 55, maybe if you go out of state, 65, 75. So that's double the average speed limit. You're telling me they don't want you. Like, they're, they're just asking for you to speed. Because it's very easy to. Because you can go twice as fast as you're supposed to. So going over the speed limit, it doesn't take that much. It really doesn't. It's not like it's like your car is at its limit to go to the speed limit. Like, so they're just asking to pull people over. They want to pull people over. They're trying this shit. And it's ridiculous because then you're going to scam me out of ticket. And it's like, my car can go so fast. Why, why would I not go fast? not condoning speeding but like it just it doesn't make sense you can go so fast in that car meanwhile there is no roads over here that you can go that fast unless you go to fucking germany to drive on the autobahn which i doubt you're taking your own car if you live in like the united states you're gonna what fly it over to absolutely not it's insanity truly insanity like they're just wanting people to speed just so they can make more money the worst is when the cops are just sitting in the bushes like i'm like do you have anything better to do my tax dollars are going for you sitting in a bush so then you can pull more people over like i'm not paying no i'm not paying my taxes so you make six figures to sit in a bush absolutely not like i get it's not your fault but it's the department's fault like why Why is this what your funding is going to? Fucking find something else. Find something better to do. Like, I don't care if that's your job. Tell your department to find something better to do for you. Like, the fact that you have nothing to do other than sit in a bush. Just wait. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I could do that. Like, fucking hire me to do this job. Like, you get paid to do nothing. You're sitting here doing nothing. Like, I could do that shit. I'd do that shit for free. Like, are, are you fucking kidding me? Get out of here. Another thing that's been scammy lately is fucking Dunkin' Donuts. Have you realized they're 
increase in prices astronomical like they are getting to be starbucks prices but they are not starbucks quality and i will die on this hill if i'm the last person to say this and no one else says it after me i'm dead okay this is insane duncan is so unbelievably subpar to starbucks there there was this debate in my management class last semester and like this one kid was like no, but like I waited at Starbucks for water longer than it ever took me to make a drink at Dunkin'. Okay, but guess why that is? Because every fucking time I get a drink at Dunkin', it tastes like actual ass. Like you took toilet water and put it in my drink. Their milk usually tastes expired. Their drinks are never tasting the same. You could get the same exact thing, the same exact time, the same exact thing every single day, exact location, and it tastes different every fucking time it's gross it's actually disgusting i hate dunkin donuts with a passion and now the prices are getting so close to starbucks i got chai at dunkin like because it was near my therapist's office like a few months ago and it was like seven dollars i was like i might as well go to starbucks at this cost like pay one extra dollar to get a good drink their cold foam comes out of a can like i'm like what is this? I don't care that I'm only paying 80 cents as opposed to $1.25 for the cold foam. The fact that it's coming out of a can is disgusting. Like, it's like putting cheese Whiz in a gourmet grilled cheese. Like, what the hell is this? Like, you- no. It doesn't taste right. Their drinks are disgusting. I- the only reason people should be going to Dunkin' is for the price. But their price, that's the only reason I go to Dunkin'. The only reason I go to Dunkin' is because of the cheap prices. But the prices are not cheap anymore. Their donuts, their food, low-key fire. Their, their food is better than... Mm, eh. Their donuts are really good. Their, their bakery items are better than Starbucks. But the Starbucks egg bites and the B Impossible sandwich has kind of a chokehold on me right now i don't really get any other food at either i remember i used to really like the texas toast grilled cheese at duncan that was good but duncan's main thing is their cheap prices and they're getting rid of that they're going to be at least losing one customer and that is me because I won't be going back. The only thing I will ever get is iced tea there from now on. Because everything else tastes horrible. It tastes horrible. I swear they'd put like toilet water in my drinks. Because it's disgusting. Like how would you mess up a drink? Because their stuff it's not even like freshly made like Starbucks. They have machines that do pretty much everything. And they still mess it up. Like what is wrong with your food? It tastes horrible. And everyone's like, oh, it's so good. <sniffs> Can we get your palate checked? Because it's absolutely absurd. So Dunkin' Donuts is a scam. Um, I hate it with passion. And yeah. Another thing that is a complete scam. And I know this because I work as a receptionist at a spa. The, the amount like the beauty industry is just a scam in itself the amount of products that people buy the amount of money they spend on certain products at a certain age eye creams aren't going to be working for you anymore like th there's a certain amount of wrinkles that aren't going to go to away once you get to a certain point and people will be dropping like hundreds of dollars on these products that are so overpriced you could get the exact same thing in a cheaper version and then they, like there are certain things that like you need botox to fix honey like your eye cream is not gonna fix this like those wrinkles are not going away without professional help and i don't mean like someone who just went to beauty school to get their esthetician's license like i mean doctors like and it's such a scam because it just chips away on people's like insecurities like it it profits off people's insecurities and i hate working in the beauty industry for that reason because it's like 
people have their own shit like it doesn't make it ugly and then you're like oh but like you could really use this like you could really use that like that's so messed up on so many levels so many levels like i can't i can't deal with it like it is a joke to me how much people will spend on this stuff and it honestly doesn't work at a certain point it just start it's like it's all temporary fixes at the most point for the most part like a lot of them are temporary fixes and then the minute you stop using them like it's not gonna like it's gonna reappear like it's not like it's getting rid of anything like you're just gonna continuously have to do this for the rest of your life now it's like taking pills consistently consistently to like get rid of the pain instead of like fixing the root of the problem like you you have to like figure out what the actual problem is you can't just like cover it up like those products they're so expensive and they're pretty much just like an expensive band-aid like at a certain point it's not gonna work anymore like you need like laser surfacing botox to get rid of those wrinkles honey not this hundred dollar eye cream like yes it's cheaper than the other things i've suggested but you don't have to keep rebuying the eye cream I mean, you do have to keep rebuying the eye cream. You don't have to keep rebuying the Botox for a certain amount. So when you think about it, it equals up. But it's a joke. It's a joke. The beauty industry is a joke and a scam. And yeah. But my favorite thing that's a scam is life. Life itself is a scam, especially the way we're working it. Um, I think that we should just... I'll, I'll take over. I got this. I'll take over. Change the way everyone lives. And la di da princess fairy tale land slay but anyways yeah so in conclusion life is a scam and we should just not follow the way it is we should just change it because everyone says things are so hard it's only hard if you don't have the right motivation just change it if everyone changed it, things are going to change. Like, that's just the way things work. So anyways, thanks for joining me this week. Um, I love you all. Um, yeah, see you next Thursday. Adios.